Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros for CDA 3100. I want to go on now in our Logisim tutorial, and this is using subcircuits. We'll also talk about editing subcircuits while we're, uh, we're doing this. Now, um, assuming you've gone through the um, previous tutorials, we're looking at uh, what we've created previously with some slight modifications. This is our 2 to 1 MUX, and you'll see that up uh, here in our left hand corner we have our 2 to 1 MUX circuit underneath our uh, uh, underneath our main and what we're going to want to do right now is uh, add uh, we're going to want to add a circuit and we're going to call this a 4 uh, to 1 MUX and what we're going to do is we're going to use our 2 to 1 MUX in making this so let's double click on our 2 to 1 MUX here now a few notes You'll notice that um, on our previous exercise, when we did our 2 to 1 MUX, we created our input output, and I'm going to show you a few extra things we've done. I'm going to click on our 2 to 1 MUX and click the input circuits. You'll notice that I put a label down here, input 1, and that puts a little label out to the left hand side. We'll use this later on when we create our 4 to 1 MUX because when we hover over the uh, button that this connects to, to that label will actually show up so it's actually uh, fairly handy now the other thing we've done too and I'll go ahead and delete this one right here is the uh, uh, delete this circuit right here because I want to re-add it uh, I had an LED out here to show it when it turned on and off now we want to change that because we're going to use this to connect to other circuits the LED is a terminal device which means that we can't connect anything to it so what we want to do here is we want to put another pin, but we want to change the pin slightly. So we'll say pin, we'll put a pin right here, okay, and we'll put it out to the side. Now you'll notice that it's facing east, okay, east over here. We want it to face west because we want the connector to be on the left hand side. And we're going to go over there and we'll put that right there, okay. And we're going to change the output to, the label to output. Okay, very good. And there's the output. So that, that does ours. Now, the other thing we want to do too is um, instead of uh, out, uh, it says output no, we want to say yes. Because what we want this to do is we want this to send a signal to another circuit. Okay. Save that. Say uh, I'll save as. Okay, and we'll say example. Four to one. Okay. All right. Now then, on to our uh, next part. We've edited our circuit right here, so we go into four to one mux, and we'll double click on that. It's a blank circuit. So now I want to use my two to one muxes in creating this four to one mux. Okay. So I click on it, and when I put it out here, you notice it just puts a box. And it must look like this. There should be two blue dots on the left hand side and this red dot indicating that's an output. If it's don't see the red dot right there, you'll have to go back into the two to one mux and change that output part from an LED to a pin so that red dot appears right there. We'll go do that a couple more times. We gotta do uh, this one and we'll do one more and we'll put it out here. So that is our multiplexer and we'll go ahead and add a pin over here to the output and we'll change it to orientation of west and we will connect that up to our red dot right there Oops. grab the red dot connect it right there very good and we're going to go ahead and build our circuit here and this takes a little bit of practice but uh, we're just going to put some pins right here that pin connects to this one and let me show the hover see if I hover over this you'll see that the Label appears, says output, and I'll hold over this, says input to, and this is the uh, select bit. So all the labels appear up, and that's a very, very handy feature to have. i grab another pin, and I'll put it offset just right there, and move it up, stop, and then over to the right, and then I'll do that again down below here. I'll, um, <coughs> This right here. All right, and do another pin. Do exactly like I did up there. And stop. Up and right. All right. So those are my data bits. 
Uh, I'm going to connect uh, this up to the MUX 2 to 1 MUX up here and then connect this one there that's good now we've got our selector bits we've got to put those pins down here and we'll put one right there and we'll put another one right here right beside it these remember we've got to change the orientation of them Oops. orientation so we'll change this one to north we want them to point up and we'll do the same thing with this one alright now <coughs> <clears throat> this uh, rightmost select, leftmost selector bit we have to take over here, and that goes underneath. Uh, let's uh, let's change that just a little bit over here. There we go. There, that's good. All right, so that's in our bit right there, and now this selector bit. Um, goes up here and we don't want to cross that path you notice that I didn't make it go up there I don't want it to cross that path I've run into problems with that and the other thing we want to do is we want to connect it here to that alright well let's take a look at that All right, and we can go ahead and we can uh, <coughs> label those and we can label this one as uh, uh, in zero zero and this one we will label as let me move it over here so we can label it as uh, um, in zero one and then move this one over a little bit and then we'll label this one as in one zero one zero and then we'll label this one as in one one, and this will be select zero, and this will be select one. Oops. Label location we want is east. Let's go ahead and label this one, and we want the label location east on this one too as out. All right, so there we have it. Let's go to our poke tool, and let's just test it. We'll have uh, this one zero, one, and this one zero, and this one as one. All right, so we want to select zero zero. So what comes out is that's zero. We want to select zero one, and that comes out. And we want to select one zero, so that is one zero. That one comes out as negative, and then one one. There's our circuit. Very good. So that should illustrate um, actually how to use uh, uh, these uh, these particular uh, circuits. Um, it uses uh, three copies of our two to one multiplexer which we've used before we've changed the pins around a little bit so that uh, we have pins rather than LEDs um, um, and uh, we put labels in there so we've done a couple things to add to it uh, later on we're going to uh, look at building some flip-flops using the same type of um, same type of uh, circuitry I hope this helps you uh, enjoyed doing it. This was our uh, lecture on uh, using subcircuits. On to the next one.